Hi there YouTube, this is Politichick. Sorry it's been so long since I posted. I've been really, really busy with work and um, we've also finally had some good weather here and uh, it hasn't been so horribly hot and humid so I've been getting out and enjoying the nice weather and spending some time outside. I uh, also bought a new video camera that I can take out and about with me so uh, I was able to take some video so now if I can just figure out how to get the video from the camera into the computer then I'll be able to load it up and uh, edit it and get it all uploaded so you guys can see where I've been hanging out. Oh sorry about the noise it's the L. Can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear it. We'll have to see if it comes out. I live very close to the L. <laughs> oh, I've also been traveling. Another reason why I haven't been able to post. And um, I just uh, had my 41st birthday. And um, the 41st birthday thing leads me to uh, my topic for today. I'm doing my first YouTube rant. So here we go, everybody. Buckle up. I wanted to talk about something that I noticed out on YouTube when I first started coming out here and um, that was that there's a certain amount of ageism on YouTube that uh, I don't think really gets acknowledged very much. Um, one of the things I noticed of course when I started coming out here is that, that it's a pretty young crowd uh, using YouTube and that I was one of the older users out here. or or one of the few people who's over say 30. You know I noticed certain things being said like for example I saw a video of Emelina's where she was talking about perverts and she was talking about perverts watching people on the internet uh, you know young girls and she kept calling them old perverts and in, and there was always an implication that all perverts are old and I, I kinda didn't really like that and uh, I was surprised to see a, a little while later in one of Blunty 3000's videos. He did the same thing. In his shower video he was talking about internet predators and he kept saying, well, how would you feel if there was an old guy out there watching you? And I, I thought, well, what does it matter if he's old? A pervert is a pervert. It doesn't matter how old they are. So I, I don't know. I kind of thought that was strange. And, and I know that people aren't intending to do this. I mean, Blunty 3000, you guys know, I think he's great. So, you know, I know that he's a good guy and he's not intending to imply that older people are somehow more likely to be perverts. Uh, but I just, I was struck by the fact that even somebody as open minded as Blunty 3000 was saying something like that. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Um, I do think that it's gotten better since Geriatric 1927 has been posting. Uh, suddenly you're seeing all kinds of people talking about how much reverence they have for people who are older. And I really think that's great. I think it's great to recognize that there are people who might be a little bit older that have had some life experiences that maybe folks who are younger can uh, find something to take away, something that would be useful uh, to them as they're trying to make decisions in their own lives. Um, but I've also as much as I like his stuff, and I, I don't mean to knock Geriatric 1927 at all, I really enjoy his stuff and I've been trying to learn what I can from his life experiences. But I think it's interesting the kinds of comments, how effusive people are about, oh my gosh, you're so fantastic and, and all about his age and wisdom. And I think it's very interesting because it seems to apply to people like Geriatric 1927 who are quite a bit older than most of the users on YouTube. And of course he's a particularly cool guy. He likes the blues and likes motorcycles and can do all the stuff with the camera and all of that. But anyway, I just think it's interesting that there are people who are younger than Geriatric 1927 but older than most of the users on YouTube. and those people aren't always as well received um, and I wonder if maybe it's that a lot of us are the same age as many of your parents or about the same age as your parents and maybe the issue is we're just too much like your parents and you're not interested in anything people our age have to say. Anyway, just uh, kind of food for thought. 
I'd be interested in knowing what the rest of you think about this. Have you noticed ageism on YouTube and what do you think about it? Uh, what do you think the reasons are? What sort of examples have you seen? I'd be interested in knowing um, how you think we can all work together to make YouTube a more welcoming place for people of all ages who can really make YouTube richer uh, by the variety of perspectives. I'd really like to hear ideas for what we can do to make YouTube as inclusive as we possibly can. Talk to you soon. Let me know what you think. Post a video, response, or comment with your observations about ageism on YouTube and or your ideas for making YouTube inclusive for all ages. Look out for the theme music. Here it comes. Yeah.